from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Home to numerous religions, ancient temples, tribes and an array of sacred places, Odisha observes many fairs and festivals throughout the year. The three-day long Raja festival celebrated in the mid of June is one among them. Adding the bright colours to the landscapes of Odisha, this festival commemorates the fertility of Mother Earth and womenhood. This year, the festival was observed with huge fanfare after the pandemic break. Pretty little girls, all decked up in their favourite clothes, were seen swinging and enjoying themselves. These were the scenes in Odisha's capital city, Bhubaneswar. The most important carnival in Odisha that celebrates womenhood and menstruation came to its full glory after the three-year pandemic break. Also known as Mithun Sankranti, the festival is celebrated for a span of three days to honour Mother Earth, which is said to be the source of all creation. During these days, the people of Odisha do not plough or do any construction work in order to express their gratitude to Mother Earth. This is the celebrate is the नारी का हर महीना में वो तीन दिन घर पर रहते हैं वैसे धर्म धरती माता साल में एक बार सोचते हैं वो ऋतुमति होती है उस दिन तो इसके लिए तीन दिन धरती माता के लिए कुछ भी नहीं करते धरती माता को आराम देते हैं कुछ खुदाई बुदाई नहीं होता है तो उसके बाद बारिश होती है और फिर चास शुरू होता है ये सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए हम लड़कियों को भी ऐसे ही रखते हैं आराम से रखते हैं the Odisha Tourism Development Corporation or the OTDC took the initiative of Pita on Wheels and Home Delivery. Pita, a traditional delicacy which is savoured during the Raja festival, was delivered to people at their homes. Locals also enjoy other varieties of delicacies like paan and more. The festival is also known as Raja Sankranti Day or Swing Festival as a variety of swings are hung up in different areas which are enjoyed by girls. ए हमारे हर साल हमारा 3 दिन ए राजबक राज का फेस्टिवल हम लोग पालन करते हैं ए केवल हमारी ही ओडिशा का सबसे बड़ा पर्व है और कहां में इतना होता है होगा पर इतना नहीं मानते हम लोग 3 दिन में क्या करते हैं ना हम झूला झूलते हैं और बहुत सारे पीठा मीठा ये सब खाते हैं और हमारा जो रिलेटिव है उनके घर घूमने जाते हैं और और एक सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बात ये है कि हम चप्पल पहनकर ही चलते खाली पैर हम नहीं रखते तीन दिन द फेस्टिवल सेलिब्रेट्स द यूनिकनेस ऑफ अ वुमेंस मेंस्ट्रुएशन साइकिल व्हिच इज अ साइन ऑफ फर्टिलिटी एज वुमेन आर ब्लेस्ड बाय गॉड्स विद द एबिलिटी टू गिव बर्थ the festival derives its name from the word Rajaswala, which means a menstruating woman. All women in Odisha are expected to rest during these days and are not supposed to walk barefoot. पहला दिन होता है लड़कियां खूब सज ढज के मतलब घूमते हैं और पैर में आलता वगैरह लगाते हैं और ज्वेलरी वगैरह साड़ी जो भी पहनना होता है कोई ड्रेसेस पहनता है कोई मतलब जिसको जो पसंद है वही पहन के सज ढज के घूमते हैं वो लोग दूसरा दिन में हर तीन दिन में हम लोग का पीठा वीठा भी बहुत बनता है और सब करके फिर लास्ट का जो रहता है उस दिन लक्ष्मी महाप्रभु का स्नान होता है वो उसी दिन उनका स्नान हो के फिर पूजा चालू होता है Raja festival celebrates the spirit of womanhood and is of utmost importance to women who pamper themselves by wearing new dresses and getting decked up with fashionable accessories. During the three days, women are given a break from all household work and they spend the entire day having fun on rope, swings, playing outdoor and indoor games, singing folk songs and eating scrumptious food. It is believed that Mother Goddess Earth 
menstruates for those three days and hence she is given a ceremonial bath on the fourth day. While India has remained a land of great saints, assimilating in its fold various cultures and faiths from time to time. It is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. A glimpse of it can be witnessed at the annual Urs commemoration of the Sufi saint Baji Muhammad Shafi in the Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir, where people from different religions come to pay tributes and pray for their well-being. Take a look. Thousands of devotees from far-flung areas of India's Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir gather at Nangathap Hilltop in Rajori district annually. It was one of the special occasions indeed. For centuries, Sufi saints have held special place in the hearts of their lakhs of devotees in India. People from different religious communities visit the shrines of these Sufi saints without any discrimination. The 27th Urs commemoration of the Sufi saint Baji Muhammad Shafi Sahab was one such occasion when thousands of devotees came to offer prayers. Jammu Kashmir mein ye sabse zyada din chalne wala urs hai, yani ye तकरीबन एक हफ्ता ये उर्स मुबारक जो है चलता है और यहाँ के उर्स की खास जो बात है वो ये है कि यहाँ लंगर तकसीम होता है लोगों को खूब तरीके से शराब करके यहाँ खाना खिलवाया जाता है यहाँ हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख हर मज़हब के लोग यहाँ पर आते हैं और बाबा के मोहम्मद इसमाइल शफी साहब रहमत ला की बारगाह में खराज अकीदत पेश करते हैं और यहाँ आज ये आखिरी दिन था यानी बारह जून ये दवैया आखिरी मजलस थी और जिसमें आपने देखा होगा कि यहाँ मुल्क के अमन अमान भाईचारे के लिए और ख़ासकर इस वक्त जो लानत इस वक्त नशे की चल रही है उसके खिलाफ जो लोगों को बताया गया कि ये जो मनशियात है इसके खिलाफ जो है हर आदमी को उठना चाहिए और इसका सदेबाब होना चाहिए As the event runs for over a week, various arrangements were done for the devotees, so they could peacefully offer prayers to the holy saint and enjoy the meals prepared for them in the community kitchen called langar. The descendants of the Sufi saint Baji Muhammad Shafi took the opportunity to propagate the message of peace and brotherhood among devotees coming from different faiths and religions. ये हज़रत किबला बाजी मियां मोहम्मद शफी साहब रहमत ला आ का सताइसवा उर्स जो है ये मनाया गया है आज जिसकी आज आखिरी दवा की गई है और इस दरबार के ऊपर रियासत के हर कोने से लोग आते हैं खास और रियासत की बैरूनी रियासत से भी आते हैं और सबसे बड़ा दर्श जो है इस मज़ार पर ये दिया जाता है कि आपस में भाईचारा अपने मुल्क के लिए के, के साथ प्यार और आपस में भाईचारा का को कायम करना जो है वो उस वो रास्ता बताया जाता है और रियासत जम्मू कश्मीर के अंदर बाजी मियां मोहम्मद शफी साहब का ही एक ऐसा ये मज़ार है जिस पर एक हफ्ता के लिए एक हफ्ता तक हजारों की तादाद में लोग आते हैं The Sufi saints in India have played an integral role in widening the understanding of spiritual dimensions of ourselves. The teachings of Sufi saints still reverberate in every nook and corner and continue to inspire masses to live with peace and harmony. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. India will host the 71st edition of the Miss World Beauty Pageant after 27 years, the organization announced at a news conference. The news conference held in New Delhi was attended by Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Miss World Organization Yulia Morley, Miss World Carolina Bialawaska, and Femina Miss India World 2022 Sini Shetty, who will represent the country in the competition. The last time the pageant was held in India was in 1996 in Southern Bangalore city. For this year the date and venue in the country is yet to be decided. Meanwhile Shetty said she was excited to welcome all the participants and show them what India stood for. Manushi Chiller is the 6th Indian to win the coveted crown. 
she had broken India's 17-year-old dry spell at the coveted pageant. The last Indian to win the title before Chiller was Indian actress Priyanka Chopra in 2000. A 49-year-old woman driver working in India's eastern Siliguri city has covered the roof of her auto rickshaw with grass and installed plants on it to provide relief to the passengers while travelling in the hot weather. Munmun Sarkar, also a social worker who has moved away from the conventional and taken up the job of auto rickshaw driver, usually done by men, came up with the idea after she felt the need to provide the commuters with some respite in the heat. Siliguri me itna din tak kabhi bhi itna garmi nahi padta tha lekin abhi itna temperature badh gaya isiliye humne socha kuch to kare gaadi gaadi ka kyunki humko to gaadi nikalne to chahiye gaadi to nikal nahi chahiye kyunki hum bhara leke chalte hain idhar se udhar तो हमको गर्म भी लग लगता है तो आदमी लोगों को सबको गर्मी तो लगता ही होगा तो इसीलिए हमने वो गाड़ी में पौधा लगाया गाड़ी में कुछ अलग किया है इसीलिए तो ठंडा लगेगा गाड़ी को पैसेंजर भी बैठते हैं दिस मेड हर प्लेस 12 प्लांट्स ऑन हर व्हीकल इंक्लूडिंग स्नेक स्पाइडर प्लांट एंड मनी प्लांट्स द कम्यूटर्स आर आल्सो हैप्पी विद द इको फ्रेंडली फैसिलिटी बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड बाय सरकार India's eastern Siliguri city saw Miyazaki mangoes, which are one of the world's most expensive mangoes grown in Japan, being showcased and sold for over $1,200 per kilogram at the 7th edition of the Gitanjali Mango Festival. Miyazaki mangoes, which are named after the Japanese city where they originate from, are highly prized because of their rich and creamy texture and sweet flavor. Using grafting methods, the Japanese mango is now being grown in the eastern Birbam district's Lappur village. The festival also showcased other varieties of the summer fruit as visitors thronged the stalls in large numbers and sampled the mangoes. India's mango pulp market caters to some of the world's biggest food and beverage players including PepsiCo, Coca-Cola and Unilever. India is known to be the land where the Sufi school of thought flourished in its true essence. A number of Sufi saints from across the world settled in India and spread the message of peace and harmony. Hazrat Qutbuddin Baba Risaldar is one among them. The saint dedicated his whole life to spreading the wisdom of Sufism and today his shrine is a popular pilgrimage site in Ranchi and is visited by the people irrespective of their caste and religion. The shrine of Sufi saint Kutubuddin Baba Risaldar in the Ranchi city of Jharkhand has long remained a place of harmony and unity for people of all faiths. Devotees from across the nation, irrespective of their religion, visit the shrine to offer prayers to the revered Sufi saint. The shrine of Saint Kutubuddin Baba Risaldar is a symbol of the pluralistic and syncretic culture of India. ये दरगाह झारखंड के कुतुब की है जहां सभी धर्म सभी समुदाय के लोग आते हैं और फैज पाके जाते हैं हम सब भी इनके दर इनके आस्थाने के मुरीद हैं और यहां आते हैं जुमा की नमाज भी हम लोग अदा करते हैं दरगाह में फातिहा भी पढ़ते हैं और पूरे मुल्क के लिए समाज के लिए अपनों के लिए गैरों के लिए जो भी इस मुल्क में रहते हैं सारे लोगों के लिए दुआ करते हैं और यहां बाबा के दरगाह में जो भी लोग आते हैं फैज पाके जाते हैं चाहे किसी धर्म समुदाय के लोग Although hundreds of devotees visit the shrine every day, but Fridays are usually busy when an enormous number of believers come to visit the holy shrine. Irrespective of their faiths and religion, people visit the dargah to get the blessings of legendary saint. The devotees believe that saint fulfill the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. जहाँ पे हर एक तबका हर एक साथ बिरादरी बिला तफरीक मजहबों मिलत 
इंसानियत के नाते जो भी आता है यहाँ मुरादें लेकर जा आता है मुरादें भर भर के ले जाता है ये अल्लाह के वली हैं अल्लाह के वली को अल्लाह रबुल्ज़त ने इतनी ताकत और क़वत दी है कि वह अपने बंदों को उनके ज़रिए से मदद फरमाता है ये अल्लाह के मुकर्र बंदे हैं अल्लाह से जो ये कह देते हैं अल्लाह वो पूरा फरमा देता है और इसीलिए हर एक शख्स हर एक आदमी यहाँ अपनी मुरादें लेकर आता है India has remained an epicenter of many such sites that strengthen the bond of secularism. People from all faiths, rising above their ethnicities, caste, creeds, and religiosity, gathered at these places and spread the message of peace and brotherhood for coming generations to follow. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. A 3-day Maasai festival kicked off in Naro County bringing the Maasai community together with traditional chants, dances and rituals aimed to promote Maasai culture and boost tourism in the area. Young men known as Maasai Morans kicked off the festivities with chanting and horn blowing while donning their traditional clothing and rubber sandals decorated masai women also joined in with their chants joshua ole kaputa the masai festival organizer explained that the event was held near the sekinani gate at masai mara game reserve attracted tourists who were on route to other destinations kaputa added the festival also highlighted the importance of unity among the masai people The Maasai people who are historically semi-nomadic pastoralists have been facing a number of challenges in recent years. Climate change has led to unpredictable rainfall patterns causing frequent droughts and water scarcity making it difficult to keep their livestock alive. By organizing the festival some hope the younger generation will recognize the significance of preserving their culture. Hundreds of thousands of revelers flooded Sao Paulo's Avenida Paulista with a festive atmosphere as they sang and danced at the annual Sao Paulo Gay Pride Parade. Drawing massive crowds from all over Brazil and the entire world, this year's celebration got off to an early start as partygoers and LGBT rights activists came together for the mega event. The event is organized every year by the non-profit APO GLBT Association of the LGBT Pride Parade of Sao Paulo and has grown exponentially since the first Sao Paulo Gay Pride Parade in 1997 which drew only 2000 participants for many the festivities lend a chance to don elaborate costumes and celebrate diversity in the streets of Brazil's largest city the parade is seen as a major cash cow attracting large numbers of brazilian and foreign visitors who boost the receipts of hotels restaurants and shops A rare Buddha statue estimated to be from 12th century China and part of a set thought to have been lost will be presented for auction in Paris and is expected to fetch 1 million US dollars According to auction house Bonhams the piece is very rare wood figure of the Guanyin Bodhisattva At a height of over 1 meter it was last sold in the 1930s to a family who wishes to remain unknown in Boulogne a suburb of Paris Head of Chinese art Caroline Schulten said the family was unaware of its value until they called her up for an estimate Bonhams auction house says there are likely only a handful of its kind left in the world most of which are in museums Moving on, India, now the youngest country with the largest pool of youth, is taking huge strides on development front. The government, who is utilizing this talented youth of the country, is streamlining its schemes to reach every citizen of the country. With the help of government's Digital India mission, the citizens are now getting direct access to the benefits of schemes planned for their growth and welfare. Let's meet some of the beneficiaries and understand how their lives have changed after receiving the benefits of various government schemes. There are several schemes run by the center to help the citizens especially those belonging to the economically backward class. They include 
सुकन्या समृद्धि योजना प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना प्रधानमंत्री मुद्रा योजना एंड प्रधानमंत्री जन औषधि परियोजना A large number of volunteers across the country are engaged to make these schemes successful. Meet Om Prakash Sharma of Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh, who has been contributing to make the Digital India campaign successful. The villagers can now visit a common services center and get digital registration of their documents to receive benefits of government schemes. गांव में प्रधानमंत्री की काफ़ी योजनाएं जैसे टेली मेडिसिन है टेली ला है आयुष्मान भारत है आयुष्मान भारत योजना बहुत ही बड़े रोल मतलब यहाँ पर चल रही है लगभग लगभग मैंने 8000 कार्ड बनाए हैं जिसमें से कम से कम 5 करोड़ रुपए का यहाँ गांव में लोगों को लाभ मिल चुका है बैंकिंग सुविधाएँ प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति योजना प्रधानमंत्री एक और बीमा योजना जो है दोनों उससे भी यहाँ पर जो व्यवस्क में घटा जा रही है लगभग जिन जो मान लो किसी की मृत्यु हो जाती है उसको भी दो दो लाख रुपए का चार लाख रुपए का जो सहयोग मिलता है प्रधानमंत्री के Similarly, the people in Ujjain are getting generic medicines at affordable rates from a medical store run under Pradhan Mantri Jan Aushadhi Yojana. The prices of Jan Aushadhi medicines are cheaper by at least 50%. and in some cases by 80% to 90% of the market price of the branded medicines yojana ka main uddeshya hai quality medicine affordable cost mein sabhi ko mile isme koi class ya koi bandish nahi hai isme kafi sari khasiyatein hain 1 rupaye mein ek sanitary pad government of india ke madhyam se provide kiya gaya hai jo ki biodegradable नेचर का है पर्यावरण के लिए सुरक्षित है महिलाओं को सहज रूप से उपलब्ध होने से स्वास्थ्य के प्रति इसमें फायदा है और अफोर्डेबल है स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स इन द कंट्री आर गेटिंग बेनिफिट्स अंडर प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि योजना अंडर द स्कीम रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड पर ईयर इन थ्री इंस्टॉलमेंट इज पे टू द लैंड होल्डिंग फार्मर फैमिलीज The fund is directly transferred to the bank accounts of the beneficiaries. हमारे नरेंद्र मोदी जी प्रधानमंत्री साहब ने किसानों के लिए बहुत अच्छी अच्छी योजनाएं निकाली और किसान के लिए छः हजार रुपये साल के पैसे आ रहे हैं बराबर और मंडी में भी प्रधानमंत्री साहब ने हमारे जितने भी बिचौले थे खत्म कर दिए और हमारे समर्थन मूल्य पे हमारी फसल तुलती है और जितना पैसा है सब हमारे खाते में आती है और जैसे कि फारे फारे के पाइप लाए तो भी छूट हमारे खाते में आती है बिचौलियों को खत्म कर दिया पाइप लाइन के बारे में जो भी है जो और लाइट भी हमारे बराबर आ रही है और जितने भी बिचौलिए थे खत्म कर दिया और किसानों के लिए प्रधानमंत्री जी ने बहुत बहुत अच्छी अच्छी योजनाएं निकाली और बहुत अच्छे से काम कर रहे हैं मीट नीता देसाई ऑफ अहमदाबाद हु वॉज अर्लियर लिविंग इन स्लम एरिया शी रिसेंटली गॉट अव हाउस अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना and also received water gas and electricity connection hume pehla jhumpar patti ma rehta tha 7 8 varsh thi humno aavas yojana modi sahib e ghar apya hume pehla jhumpar patti ma rehta tha bhada bharta tha pasi modi sahib e ghar apyu etla amara badha mata bahu saras thai jiyu hame garib loko nana manaso hame ghar lai sakye tem nata amara sokra एवं विस्तार में रहता कार भर बगड़त इना कारण साहेबे अमन घर आप साहेब ना खूब आभार एना कारण अं रहवाया साहेब मोदी साहेबे अमन घर आप पी पानी की सुविधा गैस लाइन चौबीस कलाक पा गैस लाइन छोकर भणतर एरिया बधु बहु मस्त है इना कारण अमरा छोक में घणु बधु परिवर्तन आयु Millions of people in India have benefited from several schemes run by the center and their lives have changed in the past decade. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindiaatni.com. I'm your host Lipakshi and it's goodbye from the entire production team.